Okay, assuming we have a function f of x equals x to the power n and we want to differentiate this particular function per the power rule f prime of x will be equal to n x to the power n minus 1 what we do is we multiply the whole function the whole of this by the exponent and subtract 1 from the exponent so when we have a function f of let's say z which equals maybe z to the power a when we are differentiating this particular function f prime of z to be equal to a multiplying z a then you subtract one from the exponent as simple as that so let's try some examples and see how it goes so when we have f of x equals 3 squared like this and we are asked to differentiate this so f prime of x is going to be we have our 3 here then you differentiate the x squared so we write our 2 and multiply it by the function and you subtract 1 from the exponent so at the end of the day we are going to get 3 multiplying 2x which equal to 6x so as simple as that let's try another example when we have f of x to be 3 on 2 x squared f prime of x what do you think is going to be our 3 over 2 is our constant here so we are differentiating the x squared so just like before 2x to the power 2 minus 1 which equals 3 over 2 multiplying 2x so the 2 will take care of the 2 and we get 3x as our final answer let's try it last example and move on to the derivatives of polynomials so when we have maybe f of t which equals t to the power 5 like this so f prime of t will be what 5 multiplying t then you subtract 1 from the exponent so you get 5 t to the power 4 so that is that for the power rule so let's move on to the derivatives of polynomial polynomial is more or less like um, a function having more of these um, power uh, functions of x having those powers and there so we will see how we will deal with those so derivatives okay so for any polynomial function f of x equals a x to the power n plus b x to the power n minus 1 plus c x to the power n minus 2 plus the don't forget your dot your, your three dots plus k okay that was just by the way so when you have a polynomial function like this where a b c and k are constant and we are supposed to find the first derivative of this polynomial or we are asked to differentiate this polynomial f prime of x is going to be d over dx of this whole thing so what it means is when you have a polynomial like this you will differentiate each term individually so at the end of the day we are going to get f prime of x which equals d over dx of ax to the power n plus d over dx of bx to the power n minus 1 plus d over dx of c x to the power n minus 2 
plus dot 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 d over let me write it here plus d over dx of k like this so what it means is we are differentiating each term individually so at the end of the day we are going to get something like this and what did we say about differentiation of uh, or differentiation using the power we, we subtract uh, we multiply the, uh, the exponent by the function and we subtract one from the exponent so we have a as a constant so n we are differentiating this so a is the constant here so multiply n by x to the power n minus 1 we have our first the derivative for ax to the power n we've done that one then we move, we move on to the second one so plus the b is constant then we multiply um the whole expression that's x to the power n minus one by n minus one then we subtract one from the exponent again so we will have n minus one multiplying x to the power n minus one minus one is it clear because we, we are multiplying the n minus 1 by the function x. Don't forget that we've already factorized the constant out. So the constant is there. So we multiply n minus 1 by the whole of this. Then we subtract 1 from it. So n minus 1 minus 1. That's what we've done here. Okay. Let's come down here. Plus, we have cx to the power n minus 2 there. So we are going to get our c multiplying by x my uh, n minus 2 x to the power n minus 2 then we subtract one from one from that one to plus d over the s of k don't forget that k is a constant and the derivative of a constant is always equal to zero so this are going to be so our final answer for this particular polynomial is going to be a n x to the power n minus 1 plus b n minus 1 x to the power n minus 2 because we have n minus 1 n minus 1 so we get x to the power n minus 2 plus c n minus 2 x n minus 3 so that is that that's how we treat polynomial so let's take a practical example and see how things are going to work out for us so example when we have an example like this f of x to be equal to 3x cubed minus 4x squared plus 5x it's obvious that this is a polynomial function with a degree of 3 so differentiating this to be equal to d over dx of the whole function okay so what it means is we are differentiating each term individually so at the end of the day f prime of x will be equal to d over dx of 3x cubed minus d over dx of 4x squared plus d over dx of 5x so f prime of x will be equal to when we differentiate 3x cubed 3 is our constant here so we can bring it out like we said 3x to the power 3 minus 1 so we get 2 here minus we have 4 as the constant here and s squared when we differentiate we get 2 then we subtract 1 from the exponent so 2 minus 1 will give us 1 so x to the power 1 which is the same as x plus 5 becomes our constant here x is to the to the first power so when we subtract 1 from it again we will get one so it will be left to the constant like this when you have maybe um there's a six x like this it's more or less like six x to the power one so when we are keeping the six constant and we are 
differentiating this x it will be this one multiplying the whole function so it's still x to the power 1 minus 1 so at the end of the day we will get to the power 0 and don't forget that any number to the power 0 is 1 so you get 6 here so when you have a constant multiplying a dependent term or a dependent variable and you differentiate the function with respect to that it's going to be the constant so 5x the derivative of 5x will simply be 5 so at the end of the day sorry our f prime of x become 33 is 9 so 9 x squared minus 4 times 2 is 8 8 x plus 5 so that is that when we are differentiating polynomials all that i have to do is to differentiate each term individually okay let's try one more example and move on to a different rule so when we have f of x equals let's say 1 over 3 s cubed minus 5 over 2 s squared plus x taking the first derivative of this or differentiating this we will have 1 over 3 is our constant here so we can factorize that out and differentiate this we multiply the whole function by 3 and you subtract 1 from it like this minus 5 over 2 is our constant here 2x to the power 2 minus 1 and this one too we can see x to the power 1 minus 1 so at the end of the day this will take care of this so we are going to get x squared minus this will also take care of this so minus 5 times x goes here this 2 minus 1 so it will be left with only one unit that's x to the first power plus 1 don't forget that x is to the first power here and we are also subtracting 1 from the power giving us 0 so x to the power 0 is obviously 1 so this becomes our final answer okay we will do another chapter solving more examples but to make things simple we will, we will start solving or you will start let's say explaining with one or two examples then we move on we'll do a special video in which we will solve a lot of examples for more comprehension so that is as far as we go concerning the example so let's move on to a different a different rule let's talk about the product rule for now the product rule okay so the product rule is more or less like differentiating two separate functions it's not necessarily separate but two functions multiplying each other how do we solve those questions when you have y equals f of x multiplying g of x when we have a function like this how do we differentiate these functions you can maybe multiply them simplify them and and differentiate them individually but sometimes the simplification will be quite complicated so therefore it's easier when you use the product tree so when we are using the product tree for this particular one dy over the x will be equal to mind you when we are using the product tree what we do is we hold one function and differentiate the other so we have a function of x that's f of x and g of x so we hold let's hold f of x for now so we hold f of x then we differentiate j of x plus then we hold the one that we didn't differentiate then we differentiate the other one that we held so here we will differentiate f of x then we hold j of x so that is that for the product you you hold one then you differentiate the rest then you go back you hold the one that you did it um, you hold the one that you differentiated then 
um, you differentiate the one that you held previously. So that's how it is done. So let's solve an example to clarify this. As, so example, if f of x equals x squared plus 1 multiplying 2x minus 1. First of all, let's solve this particular example by expanding the bracket. Let's expand and differentiate it individually and see if you will get the answer. So, expanding this, we can get x squared will multiply whatever is in the other bracket plus 1 multiply whatever that is in the bracket 2. So, just like this. So, we get 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x minus 1. So, when we are differentiating this, this is more or less like a polynomial, as you can see. So, we've expanded it and it has taken the form of polynomial. So, when we are differentiating it, we differentiate it term by term. So, we differentiate this, this, this and that individually. So, differentiating this, we will get 6x squared minus what? Minus 2x plus 2. That's when we expand and differentiate. This is the answer that we are going to get 6x squared minus 2x plus 2. So let's apply the product to and see if you get the same answer. So the function was this. So now we are going to apply the product to. So f prime of x will be equal to. So we will hold one of these and differentiate the other. So let's hold the first one. So x squared plus 1 we remain the same. Then we differentiate 2x minus 1 plus then we hold 2x minus 1. Then we differentiate x squared plus 1. So let's do the simplification and see. So our x squared plus 1 is there. Multiplied by the derivative of 2x minus 1. So we will get 2 because 1 will go to 0. And if you go through how I taught the differentiation using the power, we could see that 2x raised to a certain power, which is 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. x to the power 0 will be 1. So it will be left to the constant plus 2x minus 1 then we differentiate x squared plus 1 then we will get 2x so let's simplify and see so we are going to have x okay let's come here i'm going to have 2 multiplying x squared so 2x squared plus 2 plus 2x multiplying the whole of this so you get 4 x squared minus 2x so simplifying we have 2 x squared here 2 x squared here so you get 6 x squared minus 2x plus 2 which is the same as the answer that we had when we expanded and um, differentiate term by term so sometimes when you think you are good at algebra and you can expand it and do the uh, differentiation individually yes why not but sometimes to the terms wouldn't be much simpler like this, so it will require the product. So that is that. So let's take another example and move on to a different group. So if f of x equals s cubed plus 9x multiplying x multiplying let's say x minus 1 so like i said earlier on it's not always that you are going to get two terms sometimes you can get three or four terms multiply like this in that case it, it is not anything new you are going to just use the product rule. so what you do is you hold two and differentiate one at a time that's how it is done so you hold two of them, then you differentiate one. Um, you hold the other two and you differentiate any of them that you didn't differentiate initially and so on. So let's see how we are going to do this one. 
So f prime of x will be equal to let's hold x cubed plus 9x and x. So we've held these two, then we differentiate this. So d over dx of x minus 1 plus. So this time around, let's hold x and x minus 1. Then we differentiate the first term to so d over dx of x cubed plus 9x plus let's hold x cubed plus 9x and x minus 1 then we differentiate x so first first of all we we held these two then we differentiate this when we were done we came on to hold this and i think this x and x minus one then we differentiate that s cubed my pair plus nine x then we held s cubed plus nine x and x minus one and we differentiated this so what it means is you hold two of them then you differentiate the other that you didn't do that's how it is done so it's quite easy although it may seem plenty of work but then when you do the simplification that is that so let's continue we have f prime of x to be s cubed plus 9x multiplying x so d over the s of this when you differentiate this function you will get just one so this times one okay plus x multiplying x minus one so when we differentiate this two we are going to get 3x squared plus 9 plus x cubed plus 9x multiplying x minus 1 when we differentiate we differentiate x you get 1 2 so when you are done with this the rest is simplification then you simplify you're going to get your final answer okay so that is that for the product you when you can expand and differentiate it is up to you but if the terms are complicated i will advise you use the product rule. that's the best recommendation you hold one differentiate the other you hold the other you differentiate the first one that you have that's how it is done so let's move on to the quotient rule so we started with the the um, how do you call it the the power rule then we we look through derivatives of polynomials we are just done with the product rule so we are moving on to the quotient tree. when we have two terms divided how do we differentiate them so for if y equals u over v where u and v are functions of x u is a function of x and v two is a function of x when we have y equal to u over v like this where they are both functions of x y prime that is the derivative of this will be equal to v multiplying u prime minus u multiplying v prime all over v squared what do we mean by this it's always better you get to solve examples to broaden your horizon so let's start with examples and see how this will take us so we have h of x equals 5x squared minus x plus 7 all over x squared plus x plus 1 so this is the quotient because we have one function at the top and the other at the bottom okay so when you have a question like this and you are asked to differentiate the first thing that you do is, is to start representing them by u and v but mind you we always set the top one as u so always u should be equal to 
x squared minus x plus 7 that's the numerator so always make u as your number uh, your numerator then v as, a, as your denominator if you interchange that then it means you have to do something to the formula too but if you want to stick to this formula then you really have to set u as your numerator always so if u equals 5 x squared minus x then i think we will need our u prime don't forget that u prime is the same as the first derivative of u so u prime will be equal to 10 x minus 1 okay so and our v2 should be equal to our denominator which is s squared plus x plus 1 and v prime will be equal to 2x plus 1 so we write our formula down h prime of x because the function is h should be equal to v u prime minus u v prime all over v squared so we have our v here we have our v here we have our v prime we have our u and we have our u prime so we have anything that we want everything is set so the only thing left is for you to do your substitution so h prime of x will be equal to where is our v our v is here so x squared plus x plus one multiplying u prime which is 10 x minus one minus u which is 5x squared minus x plus 7 multiplying v prime which is 2x plus 1 all of this over v squared and our v is x squared plus x plus 1 all of this squared so when you do the simplification you are going to get a final answer as 6 x squared minus 4 x minus 8 all over x squared plus x plus 1 all squared so with this all i have to do is to simplify the numerator and you just leave the numerator as it is so when you expand the whole of this and you simplify you're going to get this x squared minus 4x minus 8 all over the v squared so that is that for the quotient um the uh, the quotient rule let's move on to last the last rule that we'll talk of today which is the chain rule the chain rule So suppose f of x and g of x. Suppose f of x and g of x are both differentiable. That means we can differentiate them. If y is a function of u and u is a function of x, then if you want dy over dx, it's supposed to be equal to dy over du multiplying the u over the x so there, this is mathematically right because the u can cancel the u here and at the end of the day we will get the y over the x so that's the quotient mm. sorry the uh, the chain the y over the x will be equal to the y over the u multiplying the u over the x like this okay so let's uh, let's start solving some examples and see how we are going to do so y equals 3u squared plus 1 and u equals 4l squared plus 1 we have y which is a function of u and u which is a function of x and you are supposed to find dy over dx how are you going to do this first of all you have to differentiate your y and your u so dy over du will be equal to we are differentiating this one we will get 6u then du over dx 
that's this one will be equal to 8x okay so when we want dy over dx it is obvious that you're going to have dy over du multiplying du over dx which equals 6u multiplying 8x so this is going to give us 48xu like this but don't forget that we are finding dy over the x so the final answer must be in terms of x so we have u in terms of x here so dy over the x is going to be 48x multiplying u which is 4x squared plus 1 and at the end of the day we will get 192x cubed plus 48x as our final answer okay so that is that for the chain let's try one more example what do you do what do you do when you have a question like this s squared minus 4 all to the fifth exponent how are you going to solve this question when you have to find the first derivative that's dy over dx how are you going to do it when you have a question like this all you have to do is to set u to the whole of this so you you let u equals s squared minus 4 then you differentiate u so du over the x will be equal to 2x so if u equals the whole of this y will be equal to u to the power 5 because u is now the whole of this so if y equals u to the power 5 then dy over du will be equal to what 5u to the power 4 so if we really want dy over dx we are going to get d u over dx times dy over du so this is going to be the u over the x is 2x multiplying dy over du which is 5u to the power 4 so you are going to have 10xu to the power 4 but like i said dy over dx so the derivative must be in terms of x not u so we know that our u equals s squared minus 4 here we made that substitution so we substitute it back into the final answer then x u which is x squared minus 4 all to the fourth power so that is that okay so thank you for watching the video we are hoping to do another one solving a lot of problems on the rules of differentiation to give you shortcuts to objective problems and a whole lot of understanding when you do the next chapter solving more questions thank you